Because you may have one on your home and it could help catch a criminal. We're talking about a surveillance camera. Night Beach Vasquez shows us how one Bay Area city is creating a network of citizen cameras and it's been highly effective. A burglary suspect in San Ramon has given police a very clear close up of his face thanks to a new surveillance camera network. 31 year old Daniel Anthony Martinez now has a warrant out for his arrest. Also, last week, San Ramon police say a man was shot in his car. Police are now identifying a suspect, 21 year old Trevor Berryman. The victim survived. In this shooting case, police say some evidence was caught on one of the surveillance cameras in the network, and that evidence is helping police establish a timeline, although the suspect himself was not caught on camera. The green dots you see are all residential. The red dots are businesses, or this is a school. Corporal Becky Chestnut of the San Ramon Police Department says the camera network, called the Citizen View Registry, allows regular folks who already have surveillance cameras to sign the police department. The program has become quite popular lately. People really got into it. We about doubled our numbers of registered cameras since the holidays and the flare incident as well. The flare incident happened in December. Surveillance cameras caught images of people driving around firing flare guns at houses. One broke through a window, another set a carpet on fire. Nobody got hurt. Police later arrested four teenagers, thanks in large part to the camera network. But just so it's clear, you can't see the cameras from the police department. You've got to talk to these folks. Right. We have to reach out to them to call them. When a crime happens, police look at the map, then call the closest camera owners and request their video. It could save investigators valuable time knocking on doors, and police say it could get criminals off the streets a lot more quickly. In San Ramon, on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.